really, really, really trying to find spring, Emily. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was saying to everyone, I plan this spring produce segment right. and We're it was about 20 that? degrees out this morning so yeah. this is giving us hope for the weeks to come exactly obviously emily kyle you know her every here with us every week a uh, dietitian and uh, nutritionist talking about some of the the, the produce that's in, in season, season right now springtime you know, it doesn't feel like it it doesn't feel like it but soon so <laughs> keep your eyes out the public market at wegmans for local fresh produce yeah. we know that spring produce is typically green we're spotlighting our Two, my two favorites, yeah. spring peas and asparagus okay. today. So you can find these in Wegmans, but hopefully if you're at the public market, you can find something that's been locally grown mm -hmm. as well. So first up we have is a sesame snow peas and cauliflower saute. That looks good. And have you ever cooked with sesame oil before? Yes. I am in love. I feel like I never could really get that true Asian mm -hmm. flavor that yeah. I was looking mm -hmm. for until I made this. So this is 100% a veggie-based dish. It's going to be just your cauliflower and florets and squash going to be you're throwing in your spring peas you're cooking on high heat mm -hmm. to get that stir fry so it's really a five minute deal you're just yeah. going to put in some sesame oil you can use soy sauce or have you used the liquid aminos mm -hmm. yeah so i use the liquid aminos a little okay. bit lower in sodium content you can get that right at wegmans but this is just a super quick way to make a really veggie packed dish to go with whatever yeah you're that looks great and i know we've got some of that sesame oil we got, got some of that in our cabinet oil. Yeah. it really makes a big difference mm -hmm. so if you've not tried it before I highly recommend getting it because it really mm, delicious. I love asparagus too. Love asparagus. I feel like it's one of those things you love it or you hate mm -hmm. it. And getting it in season, you will notice it tastes dramatically better. Yeah. It's going to taste so much better this time of year than if you were to buy it three, four months ago. Okay. So getting it now, taking advantage, and we know that when when produce is in season, it's generally more nutritious mm -hmm. for us, and it's generally cheaper as okay, well. That's so good that's to know. a good thing for everybody. Yeah. So from the American Diabetes Association, we have this savory asparagus custard. Okay. And oh, a wow. lot of people kind of associate eggs with spring as well. Yeah. So it's a great way to kind of use up all these spring favorites. Okay. It's going to be sun-dried tomatoes sautéed with the asparagus. You're going to cook that a little bit, and then you're going to mix it all together with the eggs, and you're mm. going to put it in the oven at yeah. 350 degrees for about almost... 30 minutes. It almost looks like a quiche. It does. It looks like a quiche. Now, this is a little bit more dense than a quiche. Okay. So if you get the recipe from the American Diabetes Association, they added a little bit of flour, which I've not used before. But it, when they come out of the oven, they're so beautiful. They're all puffed up. They look really nice. They're not as puffy now. Yeah. But they're a really nice dish if you want to impress have, someone for brunch. Good to have warm. Good to have okay. warm. Good to have warm. And it's a great way. You can throw that in your lunchbox mm -hmm. on your way out the door. No excuse for no breakfast. Make a on Sunday, you've got them all ready to go. So great breakfast. And great breakfast. Brunch. You can have it for lunch, for brunch, whatever you're looking for. It's just a great way. Mm -hmm. We know that eggs are great for our diabetics. They're high in protein, mm -hmm. high in vital nutrients. Putting any type of vegetable in eggs is always a good thing. Yeah. So especially if you're getting a serving of vegetables in at breakfast time, you're already doing yourself a world right. of good. I know you said these were your favorites. Yes. Or a couple of your favorites. Why is that? I personally just flavor wise, but in spring we also know that things like artichokes are in season. Mm -hmm. And we know that coming out of the winter season, because we're still kind of there, we've got things like cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, try to use those up at the yeah. end of the year as well. How much time we got, guys? My earpiece fell out. Okay, we still got about a minute. Perfect. So you've got this is I've the, got um, the, um, the quiche here if you okay. want to try it. And it's really a great way. I'm always telling people, we know that the recommendation is to get about five serving of vegetables a day, which can be really difficult if you think about it, especially if you're only eating three meals mm. a day. Mm -hmm. So by getting in a serving of vegetables at breakfast time, you really getting closer to your goal sooner. That is that is really good. And I know she got, I love cauliflower too. Isn't that good? And now I originally, you can get this web, recipe on my website, emilykylenutrition.com, and I originally made it with oh. purple cauliflower, and it was gorgeous. Those bright, vibrant colors, we know that those signify nutrients. So mm -hmm. any kind of, kind of cauliflower that you can get your hands on, mm -hmm. purple tends to be a little bit prettier. Oh, okay, Wegmans good to know. just didn't have what I was looking for oh, this week. Oh, that, that is delicious too. So everyone, you you got to try this. Check out your website. Thank it, you. It is again. EmilyKyleNutrition.com. Oh, beautiful. Hopefully spring will be along. Yeah.